Welcome to everybody to the lazy, hazy days of summer. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, we want to talk to you today about experiences that we have of we're getting the heat finally. I don't care where you live. Uh, we haven't had much heat in Southern California for sure up until just the last couple of days. And people are going to the beach and they're forgetting some tan lotion and stuff. So let's talk about what's going on and here. Sunburn. Yeah. <laughs> and sunburn. Yeah. And sunburn. Uh, oh, how did that come up? Right. Uh, but anyway, so we are in, in it's going to get hot, stay hydrated. Yep. We got the 4th of July coming up. Uh, we we want to talk reminder for ourselves and everybody else about what's going on. But John, uh, how are you handling summer? The finally the arrival of summer down in your neck of the woods. You know, what's interesting is uh, here in Southern California, it gets warm before the first day of summer. Hmm. So the first day of summer is really kind of a non-event. It might be a celestial event, but it doesn't mean much in terms of lifestyle. Uh, but for some reason, the 4th of July is a big deal. That, to yeah. me, is the beginning of summer. Parades, vacations, things like that. Um, and so, I don't know, summer hasn't really hit until next week, despite the fact <laughs> that I've been to the beach and got sunburned already. Right. Well, well done. <laughs> yeah. I'm well done, yeah. Yeah, when, when's the last time you were to the beach? What, last time I did what? You went to the beach before. Oh, just this last week. Last no, no, Thursday. before that, before that, years. Oh, I, you know, I about five years ago, I stopped going to the beach. I don't know, just got too busy, other things. Mm -hmm. Don't know why. No good reason. Used to be a regular beach goer. Me too. I had a couple little beaches that I would go and sit at and, uh, could go in the water, Newport particularly. Um, but uh, since moving to San Diego, I don't know. Just yeah. haven't really done the beach thing. Up until sun until damage caught up. Uh, up until sun damage caught up with me. I used to live at the beach. As a matter of fact, my one of my favorite pastimes would be on a Sunday morning at the New York Sunday Times. A uh, huge piece of paper with lots of the magazine and entertainment sure. and sports and everything, and really in depth. Yeah. And I'd go sit at the beach for hours uh, and uh, uh, used to take uh, my grandkids, some of whom were in their 30s now. Uh, it was always a ritual. They would come with me to the beach and yeah. uh, they would play in the tide pools and I'd read my paper. We'd play smash ball and things like that. But uh, Sun Damage World, that says to me, yep. I don't go anymore. But, yeah. but you, you. It, it's obvious that you don't go anymore, Art. Right. Uh, you, you, people, cast for the all I have to do is look at your skin tone and my skin tone. Right. <laughs> they I'm can tell who the, the beachgoer is. I'm cast for the ghost. But in any yeah. event, uh, things to remember, though, um, uh, that uh, you you're, you point out uh, correct, it's certainly for us in Southern California, by the time Memorial Day comes around, which was months ago, uh, <laughs> it seems like uh, uh, that we normally are used to warm weather here. And getting sure. into the 80s and 90s on a regular basis, it's only been the last day or two that we've even hit 90 in Southern California. Both of us live pretty close to the ocean, within 10 yeah. or 15 miles. Uh, but maybe Palm Springs has been warmer. But Washington D.C. just the other day was 100 right. degrees, and the entire North, at some place in Maine, yeah, they had uh, 100 degrees. So, uh, so the important thing is that if if you're going out. Uh, particularly for the 4th of July, you're even cooking in the backyard, get to the shade every so often and make sure that you have yeah. plenty of uh, liquid, uh, and I don't mean alcohol, that's the wrong kind. You should, if you want, have plenty of wine, if, whatever you want, but plenty of water. Uh, keep hydrated. And uh, John, what is your favorite SPF? Ah, uh, my new favorite SPF is 50. <laughs> but you know, I, I learned something many, many years ago that SPF 30 is really all you need. Hmm. The difference between 30 and SPF 50 is pretty minor. Hmm. Um, there is, uh, beyond SPF 50, there's a sun block. There's a true sun block. It's the stuff, the white cream that the lifeguards put on oh. their nose. It doesn't let any light through. That, hmm. That's a different thing altogether. But if you're going to, if you just want uh, to mitigate the sun, SPF 30 is good enough. SPF 50 is better. Um, and I recommend that you put some on, spray it on, wipe it on, whatever. It, it's important, as you know, Art, since you actually uh, had some serious melanoma taken out. Right. 
Um, and I've had a little bit of, uh, what do they call it, basal cell carcinoma. Right. Um, so anybody, you know, everybody's different. We're all susceptible at different levels to right. um, the, the rays of the sun. But I think everybody needs to be careful, not only for um, skin cancer, but also for, as you say, hydration, heat uh, yeah. prostration. Yeah, so, let me also add two cents to the, uh, uh, the uh, putting on a sunblock or whatever you put on. You need to actually renew that. If you go out in the sun and you slather it on, you go you go outside or you're perspiring, every two or three hours, you need to renew that. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Now, my favorite SPF is indoor. Okay? Indoor is 100% uh, protection against uh, yeah. the sun. Actually, it's really not because I noticed And it's that easy to put on, isn't it? Even with the windows closed in the car with the air conditioning on, I'll notice yeah. that my left arm, which I maybe put up on the windowsill, actually yeah. gets tan through the through the uh, window so that yeah. doesn't actually block everything and i think as you learned that uh, even though you told me you had a big hat on but this the the sun reflects off the water sure. and off, off the, the water off the sand yeah so yeah. You, you need to cover everything up and uh be safe and um and you'll enjoy it but heat has finally arrived and it's arrived late so that a lot of people are, are thinking they don't have to pay extra attention to it we suggest that probably is a good time for you to rethink it and have a wonderful 4th of July, which is coming up in a week or so, and um, and all the other summer activities and have a great time. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.